Welcome to the Jetline Marvel. We will compare two lethal light combat fighter jets in this video. One is the Saab-built JAS-39 Gripen C from Sweden, and the other is the HAL-built Tejas Mark 1A from India. Let's get started. The JAS-39 Gripen, a multi-role fighter, was debuted in 1996, and by 2020, 271 had been produced, with the Gripen E, a next-generation smart fighter, being the most current model. The Tejas Mark I a multi-role combat fighter jet, was introduced in 2015 in Indian Air Force, as of 2020, 37 of them had been produced. The Tejas Mark 1A, which has more than 40 improvements over the Mark 1 variant, is expected to begin production in 2023. Initial development for the Saab Gripen is started in 1979. A new design from Saab was selected and developed as the JAS-39, first flying in 1988. Delivery of first production airplane occurred in 1993 inter-service with the Swedish Air Force in 1996. The Tejas underwent its first phase of development in 1986. The Tejas design was completed in 1990, and it flew for the first time in 2001. The first squadron, made up of Tejas in IOC form, entered service with the Indian Air Force in 2016. The Gripen Aggressor Integrated Electronic Warfare System provides extremely accurate RWR detection and identification together with the latest jamming techniques and significant amount of passive countermeasures in terms of chaff and flares. Tejas has an electronic warfare suite is domestically developed, which consists of a radar warning receiver, integrated self-protection jammer, chaff and flare dispenser system, and beyond visual range missile capabilities. When it comes to aircraft, Tejas airframe contains a substantially higher amount of composite materials than Gripen's. The Tejas has a 45% advanced composite airframe, while the Gripen has a 25% composite airframe. The extensive use of composite materials in the airframe not only makes the aircraft lighter, but also gives high strength. This also reduces the number of joints or rivets, increases the aircraft's structural integrity, and lowers fatigue cracks. Both aircraft will feature in-flight refueling probe which will further enhance its range and both aircraft will also have higher internal fuel carrying capacity. Gripen was the first fighter in the world to be equipped with the lethal Meteor air-to-air -air missile, a beyond visual range armament capable of tracking and killing targets up to 80 miles away. Only European fighter jets have access to these missiles. Tejas is equipped with the iDerby ER, an extended range variant of the Derby with a range of 62 miles, as well as the Python 5, which has a range of up to 20 kilometers. Gripen has canard control surfaces that contribute a positive lift force at all speeds, while the generous lift from the delta wing compensates for the rear stabilizer producing negative lift at high speeds. The Tejas is a single-engine multi-role combat aircraft featuring a tailless compound delta wing design for greater maneuverability and agility, as well as relaxed static stability. Tejas features a reduced air intake, considerable use of airframe composites, a Y duct inlet that protects the engine compressor blades, and radar absorbent material coatings. The engine configuration aids Gripen's maneuverability, and it incorporates a scoop air intake architecture for air inlets, which gives further combustion and cooling benefits. Both aircraft are equipped with an active electronically scanned array, 
a type of phased array antenna in which the beam of radio waves may be electrically directed to point in different directions without having to move the antenna. Both aircraft's specification. Tejas is 43 feet long, while Gripen Aggressors is roughly 49 feet long. Tejas has a wingspan of 26 feet 11 inches while Gripen has a wingspan of 27 feet 7 inches. Tejas is 14 feet 5 inches tall, whereas Gripen is 14 feet 9 inches tall. Tejas has the empty weight of 6,560 kilograms and Gripen has 6,800 kilograms. Tejas has max takeoff weight is around 13,500 kilograms and the Gripen has 14,000 kilograms. Tejas has an internal fuel capacity of 2,458 kilograms and an external fuel capacity of 2,700 kilograms, whereas the Gripen C has an internal fuel capacity of 3,400 kilograms and an external fuel capacity of 3,537 kilograms. For takeoff, the Tejas requires a minimum runway length of 450 meters while the Gripen requires a runway length of 400 meters. Tejas requires a minimum landing distance of 750 meters, but the Gripen requires roughly 500 meters. The Tejas and Gripen both have a payload capacity of 5,300 kilograms. Tejas is powered by a single General Electric F404 afterburning turbofan with an output of 85 kilonewtons. The Gripen, on the other hand, features a Volvo RM12 afterburning turbofan engine with 54 kN thrust and 80.5 kN thrust with afterburner. Tejas has a top speed of 2,200 km per hour, while the Gripen has a top speed of roughly 2,460 km per hour. The Tejas has a combat range of 500 km, whereas the Gripen has an 800 km range. Tejas and Gripen both have a ferry range of roughly 3,200 km. The Gripen has a service ceiling of 50,000 feet, whereas the Tejas has a service ceiling of 52,500 feet. Tejas may carry a variety of weapons, including S-8 rocket pod missiles, R-73, I-Derby, Python 5, Osram, Astra Mark 1, and R-77. Air-to-air -air surface missiles like KH-59Me, KH-59T, AASM Hammer, Brahmos NGALCM, anti radiations like Rudram, and anti I ship missile KH 35, KH 59 MK. It can also carry bombs like precision guided munitions, SPICE, HSLD 100, DRDO glide bombs, DRDO SAW, laser guided bomb, KAB 1500L, GBU 16 Pave Way 2. Sudarshan, Griffin, Cluster Munition RBK-500, and Unguided Bombs. Gripen Fighter can carry various missiles like 6 Iris T, or AIM-9 Sidewinder, or A Darter. MBDA Meteor, AIM-120 Amram, or MBDA Mica, AGM-65 Maverick, KEPD-350, RBS-15F Anti-I-Ship Missile. It can carry bombs or like GBU-12 Pave Way 2 Laser Guided Bomb, Mark 82 Bombs, GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb, ALQTLS Electronic Countermeasures Pod and Digital Joint Reconnaissance Pod.
Although it's difficult to estimate flyaway costs, the Gripen appears to cost less than $60 million. The Tejas Mark 1A export variant, on the other hand, would cost roughly 41 million US dollars. Please share your comments on the Gripen and Tejas fighter jets, as well as which fighter jet is your favorite. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.